Hello, Ron. Thank you for being with us. Hi there. Oh, glad to be here. Uh, Can you introduce yeah, my yourself? Name is, my name is Brad Biles, and uh, I'm here on the Home Theater Cruise 2005, uh, sponsored by uh, Widescreen Review Magazine. And I was asked to come on board to do some seminars regarding the surround mixes that I have done for certain movies that have been released on DVD. I have a company along with my partner Robert Margaleff uh, called Mikasa Multimedia and we uh, remix and remaster uh, audio for movie releases on the DVD platform. You mean specific soundtracks dedicated? Specific, specific dedicated soundtracks for DVD release. It's a, sep it's a separate mix from the theatrical me release. It's a separate mix from the theatrical release, which uh, goes out to the public in major motion picture theater houses. Uh, we are doing a mix specifically for the purpose of home theater listening. And I, I would say our, our major client is New Line Cinema. Um, and through them, we have uh, either remixed or mastered or encoded um, movies such as Fellowship of the Ring, Two Towers, Return of the King, uh, work for MGM. We did six films in the uh, James Bond catalog that uh, were the some of the original Sean Connery films. Um, Diamonds Are Forever, You Only Live Twice, uh, Thunderball, um, where we actually found the original orchestral dates in multi-track format and were able to remix the sound into a 5-1 home theater experience along with additional sound design that we did for effects and backgrounds. So it's not on those particular movies, it's not just a matter of taking the mono elements and spreading them around. We actually redid the entire movies from the ground up uh, to give you a you know, 2005 mix for a 1960s film, and it's, uh, it's quite amazing. Um, in addition to that, Mikasa, we do, uh, we do a bit of surround uh, music-only mixing. Um, just finished an album for a group, NERD, for DTS, um, a compilation of Bobby Sherwood big band material. And uh, 2496K surround, so we sort of we sort of run the run the gamut of uh, of all applications of surround home theater audio mixing. Okay, Brown. So you you did a, a quite good demo uh, a few days ago regarding the Diamonds of Forever, for mm -hmm. instance, which uh, was a mono movie. It was uh, originally yes, it was it was released in mono. Okay, so it was it was quite amazing, you know, the, the announcement you you did. Uh, what's your take of the newest uh, audio formats uh, like you know Dolby True HD or you know the the lossless version of DTS? Well, I think uh, I think the the new codecs that are coming out with uh, with lossless digital audio being available on the either Blu-ray disc or the uh, HD DVD disc um, are are quite phenomenal because for the first time. Uh, it gives it gives you the listening public the opportunity to hear exactly um, our mixes as the way they were intended. Uh, up until now, current times, um, things are encoded either in, uh, in either in DTS or in Dolby Digital, and both of those formats right now are what are called lossy audio compression, where they're they're close, and if you were to maybe take a hundred people and have them listen to the original and then the after encode decode, they're probably not going to be able to tell the difference. But uh, there is some manipulation of the audio data that is going on to squeeze uh, like 5.1 mix or 6.1 mix for that matter down to a single bit stream and then decode it back up to its original channels. Uh, now with the advent of the new uh, DTS lossless and the new Dolby lossless, it's giving us an opportunity to have our mixes represented properly um, with full bandwidth and full bit rate without any type of uh, lossless compression. Do you think, uh, you know, internet providers and studios will care about the sounds the same way they do about the picture regarding, you know, uh, content uh, from well, the Sure, sure. I, 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 I think they will. Um, at Mikasa, we have been delivering 24-bit audio to New Line Cinema for six years. Mm -hmm. uh, knowing that someday the step was going to come, you know, because technology is getting better, delivery formats are getting better, download times are getting faster, um, prices are getting cheaper. And we could have delivered, uh, you know, sort of the uh, status quo for, for the last six years of 16-bit 48K audio, but uh, we talked to, to Newline and our other vendors about, uh, you know, 
let's go ahead. Let's 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 step on the on the you know the front of the wave. Let's be on the front of the curve and actually deliver stuff in 24-bit which was much more difficult to do seven years ago than it is now. Everybody's, you know, 24-bit, and actually there's some stuff that's 32. Um, but we've been delivering 24-bit high-resolution audio for the, for the past six years, so we're sort of geared up for for using this new format. So thanks, uh, Brian, for being here with us. Thanks for your insights. Oh, and uh, on the cruise, have a good time, and see you next year. My pleasure.